Welcome back troglodytes to the Troglies Guitar Show. We're gonna do something different today. I've got a couple of guitars that need a little bit of amateur work that had really strange, bizarre modifications to them. Like this one, it's missing a back plate and they just put duct tape over it. So I'm gonna rip this off, see if I can custom make myself a back plate. And I'm gonna restore this first run Lizzie Hale Explorer back to its original parts. That way we can do a proper review on this model. We'll also do a little bit of a test with this mini glary guitar with the black polishing cloth. First things first, let's get this duct tape off. Somebody said this has acid in it, which might have affected the finish. So let's go ahead and find that out ourselves here. All right, thankfully our finish is looking okay. But I bet we will always have this like little residue line around here. So yeah, using duct tape as a shielding cover, yeah, probably not the best idea in the world. So let's go ahead and lay out my plan here. I'm sure I could buy this black single ply material or just have somebody custom make this for me, but I, I don't wanna do that. Why don't we have some fun here? I go through a crap ton of printers, so I ripped this off of one of my old ones that don't work anymore. And what I've done is I've colored this with Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look a little bit better than the duct tape, but not by much. So I'm just going to cut that out and see if that gives us a back plate. Now, thankfully, we kind of have an outline on this tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right on here and then cut it out from that. Okay, so this is an example of where I don't have the right tools to do this job, but I do have this Dremel, so I might be able to Dremel this shape out since my scissors didn't work. All right, so it turned out even worse than I was expecting. <laughs> but you know, it, it's a little bit better than a piece of duct tape though, right? So now all I have to do is mount some screws here. So here we go. This is how I would make a back plate, I guess. The screws went in easier than I thought they would. Yeah, I got it a little bit too much in this area, but just by freehanding it, I don't think it turned out too incredibly terrible. <laughs> so if you need me to make you a custom pick guard or back plate, yeah, just click on this link right here. I only charge a thousand dollars. This next one should be a lot easier. We just have to change out the pickups and a few plastic parts.
<laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed I got it my first time. Now let's test the myth that the black Gibson polishing cloth stains your guitar if you use it. So I thought I would go ahead and test it on this miniature Glary because, well, let's face it, my kids have done quite a number to this thing, huh? For today, I'll be using Virtuoso polish and I'm opening this brand new. I haven't washed it, haven't done anything with it. This is the first time it's being opened here. So far, I'm not seeing any black streaks or anything, so it looks like that would have just been a myth, but let's go ahead and use the polish as well as the cleaner here. I'm not seeing any black staining, but I do see lots of polish scratches, but that's about it. So I think that pretty well busts the myth that these things actually stain your instrument. But maybe it's just because this is a poly finish and Gibson's have a nitro finish. So let's go ahead and test it on the back of this neck here just for good measure. I don't see anything, so I would say these things are safe to use. But I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments section below. In the end, I got accomplished what I needed to do. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. It was amateur hour here, but I had fun doing it. And hopefully you guys got a good laugh out of it, even if you're professionals at doing like wiring or making custom plates. I got the original 57 Classics back in the Lizzie Hale. That means I can review this guitar very shortly. The only thing I have to do now is source three original gold speed knobs for it. We've got a really crappy looking back plate on this V, but it's way better than just having some duct tape on it. And we don't have to fear the Gibson polishing cloth. All right, thank you Troglodytes for tuning in today. Kind of a weird episode, but we'll be back with hopefully my last 2019 review for a while tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care.